Ingrid's life is a shining example of success as a result of hard work, mental toughness, and relentless compassion for helping others. Ingrid is truly an inspiration and a role model to us all. Ingrid began her career in mentoring not long after she learned to read. Growing up in upstate New York, the oldest of 10 children, Ing has always been the go-to person in her family. And in fact, they still refer to her by her childhood nickname of Upper Management. Throughout her adulthood, Ingrid's faced many challenges and overcame these adversities with both grit and grace. After her 10-year marriage ended, Ingrid found herself a struggling single mother of two who was forced to go back to work. She turned a four-month computer programming course into a 20-year career at TV Guide. In her 40s, Ingrid discovered a passion for running, and now at 70, she has completed an unbelievable 30-plus marathons, inspiring all of us who think age is a reason not to try. Ingrid has transcended many tragedies, the loss of her beloved second husband, Dennis, and battling to beat breast cancer with exercise as a source of strength and healing. Ingrid is a passionate hiker, conservationist, and outdoor enthusiast. Ingrid is about to complete the 2,100-mile Appalachian Trail. She's hiked and led trips in China, Egypt, Iceland, and Europe. She is president of both the Chester County Trail Club and the Horseshoe Trail Conservancy. For over 20 years, Ingrid has volunteered at Thorncroft, a therapeutic riding stable in Malvern, helping children to overcome their disabilities and heal through horseback riding. Over the past 12 years, Ingrid has poured her wisdom, heart, and soul into her post-retirement career with the Youth Mentoring Partnership. First as a volunteer mentor with the Friend Fitness Program, and later as a senior program coordinator, Ingrid's helped build and guide this startup organization into a strong nonprofit that now serves hundreds of youth in Chester County and Philadelphia. Ingrid embodies the YMP mission of helping kids to overcome formidable challenges, to be successful today and in the future. She is a teacher, a mentor, a counselor, and most importantly, she is our friend. Hi, I'm Meredith Huffman. I first met Ingrid as the mom of one of my high school friends, Luke. She was the cool mom in the group. We all had to stretch our mom paradigm to fit Ingrid because after all, she ran marathons and she hiked the Appalachian Trail. She would arrive home to 20 of us piled high in her basement den and be utterly unruffled and somehow even have a bag of buster bars that she would toss out to each one of us. I realize now that she was knowing her teenage son by knowing each of his friends and went on to involve us in the most extraordinary ways in their lives, inviting us to her wedding with the love of her life, Dennis, an extraordinary and amazing honor. In recent months, I've had even more reason to know and admire and be grateful to Ingrid as an athlete and as a breast cancer survivor. As soon as she learned of my diagnosis, she jumped in with offers of help to drive or even sit with me during the long hours of chemotherapy. I found that during those hours, what we talked most about was running and in the ways that it stretched ourselves and we made goals that seemed far off and huge and surpassed those goals. And as I run, every time that I run, and especially as I run during treatment, I carry her with me, and I think of her every step. Um, I'm Jessica Shipman. I transferred from Hereford School District to TE School District. From Hereford into here, I was reading at a second grade level in the seventh grade. Actually, get, after getting evaluated, they referred me to Friends Fitness. And I've met Ingrid, Mark, I've met everybody. And I slowly started to realize these people don't take my mouth. No matter what I said, no matter how hard I fought, they just turned it back to, yes, we can still do one more, one more, one more. This, when they say you have one more in you, you have one to two more in you. 
they really know how to motivate you in the gym and outside the gym. Uh, I owe a lot to them for so many reasons. It's, it's like I said, like I've, as much as I talk, I talk, I talk, I talk. There are times where it's just two words of thank you which just suffice. And I can't say it enough to, to you, to my mom, to everybody here at Mark. This group, I tell everybody about. Because Friend Fitness, if it wasn't for Friend Fitness, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't, there's just, I'd still be that angry little chubby girl in the corner just spazzing everybody. I'd have a great smile still, but I'd still just be mean. And, but thank you, you guys have done so very much in my life. I don't know what to say about that, but thank you.